From Washington, here is the news in VOA Special English. The Nigerian military says two suicide attacks have killed at least 11 people at a church on the Jaji Army base in Kaduna. Many more are reported injured. Military officials said that two people exploded bombs in their vehicles about 10 minutes apart. The first explosion came just after the start of a church service. Diji Haruna is with the Christian Association of Nigeria. Today is another bad day for Nigeria. It's another bad day for Christian, both Christian and Muslim. Anybody that loves peace, today is a very bad day for him. Kaduna is in northern Nigeria. The rebel group Boko Haram has attacked churches there in recent months. On Friday, the Nigerian military offered hundreds of thousands of dollars for information that helps them capture Boko Haram leaders. Syrian rebels say they have captured a government helicopter base near Damascus. A video released Sunday by Syrian activists seems to show rebels in control of the Marj al Sutan air base. The base is about 15 kilometers from the capital. Rebels had launched an attack there on Saturday. A Syrian rights group based in Britain says the rebels killed at least eight soldiers and destroyed two helicopters in the attack on the air base. The group says at least 15 rebel fighters were also killed. The Syrian government has not confirmed or denied the report. The rebellion in Syria began in March of last year. The rebels want to oust Syrian President Bashar al-Assad from power. In Egypt, opponents of President Mohamed Morsi have raided a northern office of his party, the Muslim Brotherhood. One person was killed and 40 others were wounded. Muslim Brotherhood leaders said the person killed was a 15-year-old supporter. I'm sorry, a 15-year supporter. They did not say how he was killed. The violence happened in the Nile Delta area town of Damanur. Activists began a series of protests Thursday after Mr. Morsi ordered a wide expansion of his presidential powers. Demonstrators in Cairo are demanding the order be canceled. The protesters have blocked streets and fought with police in the city. Egypt's main stock value measure fell almost 10 percent Sunday. The ceasefire between Israel and the Palestinian militant group Hamas in the Gaza Strip is now in its fifth day. Schools in southern Israel reopened on Sunday, one day after Palestinian children returned to school. A bomb attack in Yemen has caused the deaths of at least three people. The attack happened as Shiite Muslims were leaving an event marking the anniversary of the death of a son of a son of the Prophet Muhammad. Officials say 13 people were wounded in the attack, which happened in the capital, Sana'a. A Shiite group said gunmen also shot at people at the event. No one has claimed responsibility, but Al-Qaeda and its supporters have targeted Shiites in the past. Officials in northwestern Pakistan say a bomb explosion near a Shiite religious gathering, has killed at least five people. About 90 people were wounded. The explosion happened Sunday in Dera Ismail Khan. An explosion there Saturday also targeted Shiites. Seven people, including three children, were killed in that attack. 
Police say the bomb that exploded Sunday had been placed in a store. The Pakistani Taliban has claimed responsibility for both attacks. The bombings come as the minority Shiites mark the Muslim holy month of Muharram, the first month of the Islamic calendar. Sunni extremists have targeted Shiites in the past during Muharram. Officials have increased security across Pakistan to guard against possible attacks on Shiite gatherings. Pakistan has temporarily suspended mobile phone service in major cities to prevent bombings which are often set off by cell phones. Officials in Bangladesh say a fire at a clothing factory has caused the deaths of at least 110 people. Officials say the number of dead could increase because many people are missing. Rescue workers found the bodies early Sunday after firefighters spent hours putting out the fire. The fire started on the bottom floor of the nine-level building Saturday night in the Tasreen Fashions Factory near the capital, Dhaka. Many workers were trapped on the upper levels of the building. Some of them jumped to their deaths before rescue workers arrived. One representative of clothing factory workers said it was the deadliest fire in the history of the country's clothing industry. Separately, officials say at least 11 people have been killed in a bridge collapse in southeastern Bangladesh. China's official news agency, Xinhua, says an explosion in a coal mine Saturday morning killed 18 people. Five people are still missing. Five other miners were rescued and taken to a hospital. Some of them are in poor condition. Xinhua said there were 28 workers underground in the state-owned mine in southeastern Guizhou province when the explosion happened. Almost 2,000 people died in coal mine accidents last year in China. Poor safety rules make the mines among the world's deadliest. And finally, this news. Tens of millions of Americans have crowded the nation's airports, train stations, and roads on Sunday on the return home from the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. More than 43 million people were expected to travel 80 kilometers or more to attend holiday gatherings. Most of those people were expected to drive. Few travel problems were reported, mainly because of good weather in the United States.